Hi Kickstarter, this is Grant Kuning, the creator of Sethian. Throughout this campaign, I'm going to be writing blog posts and uploading gameplay videos to go into more depth about what's going on in this game, so consider this the first of several videos to come. Over the course of the campaign, I'm going to be keeping my ears open to find out what people want to hear more about, but for now, I thought I'd just walk through the first little bit of the game's tutorial to give you a better look at the game. When I do more videos like this in the future, I'll have a specific subject I'll be focusing on while I go through the game but this one's just an introduction. Please keep in mind that this is an early alpha, so everything you see here is a work in progress. Um, so let's get started then. Um, while I was talking, uh, were you trying to figure out what's going on in uh, what we're looking at here? Um, you can probably see how the screen is sort of divided into a left and right. We have this divider here, and then the left is kind of uh, empty and there's not a lot going on and then over here we have a whole bunch of symbols that we don't really know what they mean yet. Um, if you're paying closer attention you might have noticed that these buttons all have different sizes. We have squares and then small rectangles and then big rectangles and um, if you look at your keyboard you might notice something similar with your letters and your numbers and your punctuation and all that uh, on squares and then you have keys like shift or spacebar or enter on different sized rectangles. And um, if you are very astute, you might have noticed that there's sort of um, a thematic link uh, between these symbols here. So if we look at this first column, we see a lot of lines. And then in the second one, we see a bunch of circles. And then we see triangles and then quadrilaterals. And um, that link is going to help us find um, the symbols we're looking for later. Um, okay, so um, to really get into what's going on here, we're going to have to look at our journal. That's going to tell us everything we need to know. Everything we need to know. Uh, controlling the game is uh, really simple. Uh, it's all on the mouse. Um, left click to press buttons, and then right click is uh, open the journal. Uh, unless you're watching this in uh, really high resolution, which I'm not sure, even sure I'm going to upload, um, and you're watching it in full screen, you probably can't read this. So I'm going to read through it because it's pretty important, and um, then uh, uh, then we'll be uh, ready to really get into it. Okay. Um, entry 7. By now I have given up hope of any human encounter. I maintain that there must be at least a small population still present on the planet, but having not been found, they clearly do not want to be found. It may be better to avoid a people as distrustful of outsiders as that. I have not forgotten the relatively well-preserved consoles I discovered shortly after landing, and I've decided to attempt to interface with them manually, as other modes of use seem to have been compromised by damage I cannot repair. Unfortunately, I suspect that these machines are designed for use by locals, or at least colonists, and so I will be using a language I am not very comfortable with. I am fairly confident that the late lingua franca of the, of the planet was not Talusian, as spoken by most of the colonists, but rather the Daedic transhumanist Creole, as spoken by most of their trading partners. Moreover, from what I have gleaned from what survives among the ruins, the dialect spoken locally was not the conservative, highly mutually intelligible variety described by Balfarangan, but rather the so-called Creole of a Creole described by Bakuhar. Unfortunately, I have not very well acquainted myself with Bakuhar's work, so I will be doing quite a lot of learning in the field. I'm familiar with the convention of writing top to bottom, left to right from my work in CAM4, and other aspects of the interface are clearly borrowed from Desrian models. Backspace and enter are in the bottom right, and punctuation marks are aligned just to the left, with letters arranged in a grid above them. Spaces for input and output appear on the left sides of the interface. Uh, let's pause for a second to um, look at the keyboard and see if we follow all that. Um, bottom right is uh, backspace and enter. See backspace there. Um, punctuation, that's these six keys here. Then these are all our letters. Um, and then we have input here, that's where what we say goes. And then we have output here, that's where what the computer says goes. Then there are these things which we don't know about yet. Um, but we have a lot on our plate, so um, we're not ready to get into that just yet. Um, so let's finish up with the journal. 
Um, due to the limits of my knowledge, there are a few questions I can render with any accuracy. Earlier, I speculated about the purpose of the structure that houses this console. I suppose that is a, as good a place to start as any, at least among those I am able to pursue. I believe this is what I need to type. Okay, and so here we have, it tells us exactly what to punch in, um, into the keyboard. Um, keep in mind, by the way, that this is a tutorial. The, the normal game isn't like this. It's, we're still learning. But um, you have uh, the dot, a dot thing, and then a square. And then we have these things, which are um, kind of like sideways uh, exclamation points, I guess. And then we have a pentagon. And then just to the right of it, we have a gloss, which tells us what each of these words means. Mean. Uh, the dot is this. Square is place. And then the pentagon is what. And we don't really know what the exclamation points do yet. And then at the bottom, we have a translation. What is this place? So this is how you say, what is this place in the game's language? All right, let's do this. Um, so first, we need a dot. Um, we kind of have a, a few dots to choose from, and only one is right. Uh, we have this dot up here, and then we have a we have all these dots down here. Um, but this dot is on the left, and this one is on the right. And we know from here we want a dot that's in the center. We also know that this is a punctuation, but we're probably looking for a letter, right? So this is this. And then we want a square which is over here with the quadrilaterals. Then we want the exclamation points, which are down here. If we look again, we can see the first one we want is the one with the dot on the right. And then the second one is the one with the dot on the left, like this. And then the last thing we need is the pentagon. OK. Um, so let's enter that. Um, looking at the computer's response, we can see it starts the same as our question. We have this place and then the exclamation points and then this thing that we don't know what it is yet. Um, let's check our journal again. Um, I cannot decipher the machine's answer, but I will record it now in the hope that I will be able to translate it later. And we see this place and then we don't know. I'm not aware of an orthography that does not use right aligned dots except to mark proper nouns. So I suppose the answer I've been given is some sort of name. Unfortunately, I have no idea what the name is meant to be, how the name is meant to be pronounced, let alone what the significance of the name is, if there is any to speak of. So my next step then will be to ask about this name. So we're going to type in the name, and then the exclamation points, and then the Pentagon. And that, that's how you ask what is the name. Okay, let's do that. So our dot on the right was over here. Uh, and then we need a parallelogram, which is over here with the quadrilaterals, and an angle, which is over here with the lines. And then another right dot. Then the exclamation points again. And then the pentagon. And that's it. OK, let's enter that. So we have the name, uh, and the exclamation points, and then the dot, and then this thing which we haven't seen before either. We really don't, we're really not sure what this means. Let's check the journal again. So we wrote down the computer's response and we don't really understand what any of it is. We don't know what the trapezoid is either. So this time it's different. At the end we just wrote, now I suppose I should ask what trapezoid is. Um, we don't know exactly what to punch in. But we do know how to ask what something is now. Right? Um, that's all I wanted to do for this video. Um, please check back every day. I'll be doing a lot of updates. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.